I spent my time at Magna 2017 checking out all the high-tech equipment, the beautiful fish, and even a low-tech option to feeding your tank over long periods of time and even when you're away. So I stopped by the Smarter Reefs booth to check out the Reef Sickle. I'm here at Smarter Reef to take a look at the Reef Sickle and I'm joined by James. So I'm James Foster, the founder of Smarter Reefs and we've developed an innovative and patent pending product that's designed to slowly dispense frozen fish food into your tank for about eight hours throughout the day. Most hobbyists will feed infre infrequently large amounts of food into the tank and a lot of it will go onto the bottom of the tank uh, uneaten by fish. Most fish, most reef fish have been designed to slowly graze on the reef finding little morsels of food but we have busy lives and busy jobs and we're unable to feed our fish adequately. So this is, um, you're basically going to be making popsicles for your fish. This is a silicone ice mold and you place any frozen food into the different chambers in the silicone mold. Now, you can put as little or as much as food as in, into uh, the chamber as needed. You can put, for example, one cube of frozen mice shrimp. You can use um, other types of frozen food as well. Um, whatever space that you don't occupy by the frozen food, you can fill up with reverse osmosis or other clean dechlorinated water. Each silicone mold has four chambers, which is going to make four popsicles, and there's going to be one popsicle that's going to be used in the tank per day. And the other part of the system is a special designed thawing chamber. This chamber is filled with water and placed into the freezer overnight. So in the morning, you're going to take the thawing chamber out of your freezer along with a popsicle. The popsicle is going to be inserted into the thawing chamber and then this is going to be placed over your fish tank. Now slowly throughout the day, the, the popsicle is going to melt. It's going to start off a very long popsicle and as the day goes on, it's slowly going to drip into the tank. At the end of the day, only the popsicle stick is going to be left over. The food's going to drip into a integrated feeding ring that's inside the mount. There's two types of mounts that we have, a Euro mount which fits a horizontal bracket or a standard mount which will fit on a rimless or standard rim aquarium. The ideal use case for this is for difficult to keep reef fish, for example, antheus, seahorses, butterfly fish, angelfish, tangs, and wrasses will all benefit from feeding um, in this manner. You can also hang the fish feeder over your sump pump and the pump will pump the food up into your fish tanks. Also, some of the coral supplementations can be frozen and any supplementation that can be frozen can also be dripped slowly into the tank. So it's a very healthy way to feed your fish. All products are meant to last a long time. It's food grade silicone and also uh, aquarium safe acrylic. It is retailing for $99 and includes one silicone mold, one aquarium mount, and a thawing chamber. And if you'd like to purchase additional silicone molds or thawing chambers, you can do so. Very cool. And I like the, the uniqueness of this product. Like, you can add whatever food blend that you want inside this silicone mold and add your RODI water on it, freeze it and then you can feed your tank over a period of time. So if you're on vacation or mm -hmm. something like that, it works great for that. Yeah, many people use it for vacation feeders. In that case, you'd want to get two thawing chambers, and that way you can always have one in the freezer. In the morning, you can have your loved one uh, take the chamber out of the freezer, pop a popsicle out, put it in the chamber, and you're good to go. So it's very easy to make food ahead of time for other people to feed your tank. Very cool. Thank you so much, James, for taking the time. You're welcome. Thank you very much. So a lot of things to check out here at Magna 2017 in New Orleans. I had a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that. And we'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk. Say bye.